A lot of people learn programming languages to get a job and that's totally reasonable and totally fine. And you want to know what is a job market for a Go developer? Well, I'm going to show you. So here, post about 28 days ago on R slash Golang, how is the job market for Golang developers? Let me zoom in here. I'm interested in transitioning to a programming mainly role, currently stuck in Salesforce, looking to invest time in projects that will help me create an employer attractive portfolio. My programming stack currently is Java and JavaScript. So I don't think the learning curve will be too high. However, I understand that the job market isn't great right now and I want to build some things that'll help me stand out. Currently eyeing learn Kubernetes the hard way no. as a great way to help jumpstart project. Golang developers, it's a language worth picking up for the availability of jobs. It's a phenomenal question. And so I've developed this super advanced board right here. We have six programming languages, Go, Rust, Python, Java, PHP, and JavaScript. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to indeed.com. I'm going to go to linkedin.com. And all I'm going to do is find the number of jobs that are available and then tally those results. So let's go and do it. So first go developer, I went all into the United States. So if this is not worldwide, this is just the United States. You can see here, there are 1,999 jobs. And I know you might be saying, well, there might be some overlap between the two. Sure. But because we're going to go on all the languages and use this as our source of truth, it's fine. And on LinkedIn, we have about 1,646 results over here. Cool. I forgot to put a total. So I just made one really quick. So there's 3,645 total jobs for Go developers in the United States. This is pretty good, but I think this may be kind of low, but let's see compared to Rust. I think it'll be higher than Rust, but I think Go will be lower than Python, Java, and JavaScript. I think it'll be higher than PHP, but let's go and see this. If you guys like Go and this kind of content, make sure you click subscribe button. It does help the channel a lot. A lot of effort goes into these videos and it truly is the best way to support if you enjoy it. But let's get back to the video. So for Rust developers, we have 288 jobs according to Indeed and about 1,138 jobs according to LinkedIn. So the total for Rust is 1,426 jobs. So, so far I'm right. There's actually two times more jobs available for Go than there are for Rust, which is pretty eye-opening if you are interested in learning one of these two languages. Maybe the amount of jobs is something that you want to consider. All right, next up it's Python and Indeed has 11,117 jobs. <sighs> Whereas LinkedIn has 1,834 jobs, giving Python a total of 12,591 jobs. Uh, I think maybe this would be the language that has the most jobs, really. I mean, it's like four times more jobs than Go. It's like 11x more jobs than Rust. Let's see Java now. All right, so Java on Indeed has 10,154 jobs available. And over on LinkedIn, it has 5,000. 1863. There's a lot of Java developer jobs in the United States. So this gives Java a total of 16,017 jobs in the United States. 17. Wow. I mean, am I surprised? Not really. I'm surprised how many more jobs are in Java compared to Python. I mean, there's like almost 4,000 more job openings in Java than there is Python, which is crazy. But as you can see, a lot of people are always saying, oh, don't learn Java. I mean, if you want to get a job, it seems seems pretty promising. Like it's hard to argue the fact that there's almost 13,000 more job openings for Java developers and there are Go developers. But let's go check out PHP and JavaScript. That's going to be fun. So according to Indeed, there are 763 PHP developer positions in the United States, so 663. And on LinkedIn, there's 606 PHP jobs available in the United States, which is a lot lower, like significantly significantly lower than I had thought PHP would have. This is our actually our lowest tally. I have to double check, but PHP only has 1,366 jobs in America. Now, here's the thing. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, what about WordPress positions? I think as WordPress developers, there's going to be more jobs available. However, I do think when you use WordPress, like wouldn't that have PHP? I don't know. Let's actually double check just for, just for funsy. Wow. WordPress developers has less open to so 226. And let's see here. Yeah. Wow. There is less positions that have WordPress and Intel than it just has PHP. So it's really not looking good for PHP developers right now. I don't know what happened to those Lambos, but now let's go to JavaScript. So on Indeed, there's 8,008 JavaScript positions. Whereas on LinkedIn, there's 555. This seems kind of low. So I'm going to do a double check here. Instead of putting JavaScript, I'm going to put TypeScript. Whoa, way less. Interesting. What about on LinkedIn? I mean, I know it's a subset, but whoa, holy, what the hell happened here? <laughs> what? Wait, what the fuck? 
<laughs> Java script 555 type script 164,933 jobs. Okay, so here are our final tallies. I think it's no surprise that Python and TypeScript are just in the absolute dominant positions when it comes to job openings, especially TypeScript. Those jobs are ever everybody needs a web dev there's so many different excellent applications that are being built with typescript either in the front end or in the back end developing really cool stuff i mean that ecosystem is booming every single week there's new things released either for database applications a new runtime new servers new frameworks you name it typescript definitely is in the lead then java because it is one of the older languages that was the most battle tested at one point so a lot of the internet still uses java and then Python, I think, for a lot of data science, machine learning applications with the boom of AI. It's also funny that it has like the biggest discrepancy between Indeed jobs and LinkedIn jobs. I'm not too sure why that is, but hey, that's for a different analysis. And then the bottom half, we have PHP in last place, Rust also in last, and then Go, of course, is in the bottom, but it's not like in the dead last place, like Rust and PHP. Like these two are within a hundred openings of each other, but Go, Go is slow starting to creep up as this emerging language that is definitely being used in so many different applications. However, in terms of just core number of job openings available, I definitely think these other languages are winning. Now, you may be asking yourself, Melky, well, what about cloud developers? And maybe some of those job postings don't have Go explicitly stated. And to that, I say, maybe you're right. But then that applies to a bunch of different languages there, right? You could say web developer and not have types of JavaScript or machine learning engineer, not have Python. So that rule applies to the whole kind of search we did here. So to answer our friend, Mr. Claptrap here, how's the job market for Go developers? Developers. My conclusion is that it's growing. It's not the greatest, much better than Rust or PHPs and maybe some other languages like Elixir or Camel. But if you are struggling to find a job, maybe focus on the TypeScript, Python, and even Java, which this user already has skills in, and maybe you'll have better luck finding a job there. But let me know what you guys think of this video. Did you like it? Because if you did, let me know in the comment section below if any of these languages, any of the results surprised you. If you're watching without comment, like, or subscribing, what are you doing? Go click that. It's free. These videos, come on. Also, you gotta power.